All right, here we are showing you a male and female painted turtle, Eastern painted turtle. Um, uh, the female is on the left and the male is on the right, the really active one right now. Uh, and we wanted to, in this video, show you two ways um, that you can uh, determine uh, whether you're looking at a male or female painted turtle. So the first um, measure that we're gonna use or morphological mark that we're gonna use is the length of the uh, front four claws. And specifically, um, we're gonna look at, very nice, um, the front right middle four claw. And so we uh, will measure that, <laughs> that front right uh, middle four claw in both the male and the female. And as you can see, the uh, even from them just kind of flailing around like this, um, the males are much, much longer than the females. And it can be double or more um, the length uh, of the females, the males four claws can be. Um, so we're gonna measure those. Um, we're also going to look at the precloacal um, tail length. So the distance between the edge, whoops, between the edge of the um, the plastron, this belly shell, and the cloaca. Um, and that's right here, this horizontal kind of slit right here. And this is the male that we're looking at, and we can tell that because his tail is all the way out and the cloaca is way beyond, extending way beyond the, the carapace, um, that upper shell. Um, so he has a really long precloacal tail length, whereas the female right here, um, and if we can tilt her this way to see a little bit better. Um, the female's uh, cloaca is uh, right around at the edge of the carapace. You can see the, the back edge of the carapace shell right there, and her cloaca is right at that edge. Um, this is actually pretty far out for a female. Sometimes you'll see that cloaca much closer to the body, uh, much closer to the, the plastron than what we're seeing right here. So those are the two measurements that we're gonna use to tell male versus female, and we'll give you some uh, some data, some, some numbers, averages, ranges of how long those claws should be and how long that precloacal tail length should be in order to determine male versus female.